In this video, I will describe how to do count data models in SAS. Before watching this video, please watch my other two videos on how to formulate the models as well as the example. I have opened and executed the SAS program on count data models and Let's go ahead and look at the data. We have uh, doctor's visits, which is a count variable, and that's a number um, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, a, a non-negative integer. And then as independent variables, we would use private, Medicaid, age, and years of education to estimate count data models. There are several models that we will consider uh, in, in this video, including Poisson, negative binomial model, the zero truncated models, and the zero inflated models. First thing that we're doing is we're reading the data here with this code with PROC import. Uh, we looked at the data and we're calculating means. So one thing that you can see is the mean for the doctor's visits is 6.82 as the number of visits. Um, so this is the dependent variable. And the rest would be independent variables for us. Another way in which you can summarize count data, especially the dependent variable, is look at the frequency. And you can do this with this procedure here. Uh, and you have the doctor's visits from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, to the highest number of 144. So notice one thing is that for 0, we have the percent frequencies 10.91, and then we have 8.54, and so on. So they're really rapidly decreasing, and by 20, we have less than 0.5%. Uh, uh, in in uh, frequencies. So this is how your data should look like when you're calculating the frequencies. If you have numbers in the hundreds or the thousands, probably count data models are not the right tool for you. So make sure you check your data first. The next thing to do is calculate uh, or estimate the Poisson uh, model. And this is done by using a PROC gen mod and uh, you're inputting the data and the model, you're putting the dependent variable here and all the independent variables here, distribution equal Poisson and the link, we use the log uh, link for that. And these are the results here. And we're looking at these coefficients here and we would also look at their significance. So a way to interpret these results is that if, um, if a person has private medical insurance, they will, be, um, they will have 15% more uh, visits to the doctor than if they don't have this private insurance. That's how you interpret this. The next model that we will do is the negative binomial model. And this is done again with ProcGen mod. And as you can see, everything is here is the same as for the Poisson model, except for distribution, we put negative binomial here instead, instead of Poisson. So this is what estimates the negative binomial model. So if we scroll down, these are the results for the negative binomial model. And again, we would have the same interpretation that if someone has private insurance, they will um, have 16% more additional visits to the doctor. Notice here one parameter. This is the dispersion or the alpha parameter that we talked about in the lecture, 0.81. And this parameter you also need to include in the table um, for when you estimate negative binomial model. And if you see that this parameter is significantly different than zero, which it is the case here, then this means that we're justified in using the negative binomial model. The next thing to do is estimate a zero truncated Poisson model, which means that the zeros are not there. 
we are only estimating the Poisson model for the positive values and we are correcting for the fact that we don't have zeros anymore. This is accomplished by using the PROC FMM and distribution here you put truncated Poisson and these are the results that you get here. If we look at the uh, coefficients here we get a coefficient of uh, point 088 and the way to interpret it is to say for those that have positive number of doctor's visits if they have private insurance they will have 8.8 percent more visits to the doctor than if they don't have this private insurance so always include for those that have positive um, number of visits to the doctor because we're dealing with truncated with truncated uh, models. I have not included a uh, code here for zero truncated binomial, uh, negative binomial model. I did not see a very simple code. There's some more complicated code on the internet if you're interested in doing that on your own. Then we can uh, estimate zero inflated uh, Poisson models. So we will use the PROC gen mod for that, reading in the data. The model would be the same here. Distribution uh, zero inflated Poisson or zip. And then for the zero model, this for the inflated model, we, we would just put the independent variables here. And notice that there is no dependent uh, variable here because this is, uh, this is the binary model for for this uh, for the zero inflated Poisson model. Another thing to notice here is that these variables here can and probably should be different than the variables here because I just deal with this example I put the same variables in there but in your research you can think how you could have variables that affect the binary decision of um, having the propensity and the likelihood to go to the doctor or not and then looking at the the other uh, decision of like how many times has, has someone uh, been due to the doctor so these two can vary for you so the results are, are described here and uh, we have again very similar results to the results that we had before and uh, again we have the same interpretation of this coefficient and you can also look at my other video for interpretation these results right here are um, the results from the binary model of that that's the inflation uh, model So the last thing to do here is to estimate the zero inflated negative binomial model and if you compare the code here to the code that we have above the only difference is in the distribution we use zero inflated negative binomial instead of the zero inflated Poisson and again here are the results that we have here notice that in this case we also have the dispersion parameter which seems to be positive and uh, significant so it's, it's a good thing to use the negative binomial model. And uh, we, can, we can say that if, if people have propensity to go to the doctor, if they do have private insurance, they will have 10% more visits to the doctor. And these, the, this model also should, prob should be reported in the paper. Uh, this is the inflated model. It's, um, uh, that, that considers the binary decision of is it a zero outcome or a positive outcome. So this is what I had on count data models in SAS. Thank you for watching.